the presidential Donald Trump committed a massive crime against our Constitution and our people and the worst violation of the presidential oath of office in the history of the United States of America. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard by telling the mob that their election had been stolen from them. I have an objection because 10 of the 29 electoral votes cast by Florida were cast by electors not lawfully certified. Even then, after that vicious attack, he continued to spread the big lie. I think it's also critical to understand you can run the best campaign and you can have the election stolen from you. This was months cultivating a base of people who were violent. Praising that violence. And, and everyone beware. They're not going to let up, and they should not. And he still gave that marching orders and, quote, fight like hell. Democrats are going to fight like hell. We're going to fight like hell. We'll fight like hell. We'll fight like hell. But can you imagine telling your supporters that the only way you could possibly lose is if an American election was rigged and stolen from you? And you can have the election stolen from you. And ask yourself whether you've ever seen anyone at any level of government make the same claim about their own election. And you can have the election stolen from you. And ask yourself whether you've ever seen anyone at any level of government make the same claim about their own election. And you can have the election stolen from you. And in the months, the president made these statements. People listened. Armed supporters surrounded election officials' homes. The Secretary of State for Georgia got death threats. And they were shouting threats, you know, to us to, to kill us. We cannot go outside now. It's become so dangerous for us. When he saw firsthand the violence that his conduct was creating, I, I, I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. Maybe there will be. He didn't condemn the violence, incited it further. They're not going to let up, and they should not.